Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hines and I'm here at First Choice Healthcare in Decatur, Georgia. I'm here to bring you a series of tips designed to improve your tennis, prevent injuries, and help you live a longer, more productive life. Uh, each week, we'll bring you one or two ideas to help you accomplish those goals. In our office here, in, uh, just off of uh, 285, we work with athletes of all different types, and over these tips we'll be focusing primarily on tennis. This week we want to address tennis elbow, a common injury occurring in about 25% of all players over their lifetime. Classic tennis elbow is typically an inflammation of the insertion at the lateral aspect of the elbow, and we can tell that it's true tennis elbow because if you try to pull your fingers back, you'll feel pain and tenderness right here at the elbow joint itself. Most commonly, it's caused by repetitive stress injury. For us tennis players, that means swinging the racket, pulling the racket back, or attempting to use too much of the wrist and elbow in the strokes, or what the pros like to tell us, improper biomechanics. What we want to do to help prevent those injuries is to strengthen the ligaments and muscles of the forearm, and that can be accomplished using a simple barbell. You want to begin with a lighter weight and make sure that you increase your repetitions up until the point where you're beginning your season. If you're in the middle of the season, you can probably begin with a little bit larger weight and a little bit more volume. But remember, when we're exercising the ligaments and the tendons, they're much weaker than the muscles themselves. So use less weight than you think you can, and you'll be fine. When doing the exercise itself, you want to be sure that you start with something small, either a 1, 3, 5, or for some of you bigger and bulkier guys, maybe even a 10. But always use less weight than you think you need. You want to support the forearm and do simple wrist curls slowly and with attention to the muscles and, and uh, tenderness attachments around the elbow. You should feel it right there at the elbow. You want to work with a high number of repetitions, maybe 20 repetitions on each side, both the curl up and then turning over and doing what's called an extension curl or wrist extension, slowly and making sure that you're resisting as the weight comes down. Don't just let it drop. Remember, use a low, low weight and high repetitions for the best success.